Okay guys, so now um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, set the underhook. Our opponent here is gonna panic for a moment, pull some guard. I'm gonna grab his head, jump over the top. Okay, trying to land on my hip, okay? So now I'm gonna bridge my hips up, step over to side control. So it's very important that we try to keep our opponent flat on his back right now, okay, while we're trying to choke him. So I'm gonna keep the underhook and keep some chest pressure. What I really wanna do now is drop my uh, left hip on the mat, so the hip that's close to, hit to his hip. Okay, I'm gonna keep the right leg up, I'm gonna sit back and I'm gonna try to like compress his head into my ribs. So again, with the whole concept of pull, pinch, curl, we're not pulling because we're on top. So gravity is our friend. He can't escape his head in any way, shape, or form at this moment. But we can do the pinch and the curl. So I'm gonna pinch my elbow to my hip and then curl the hand into his throat, okay? So again, I'm maintaining control on his chin. So his head is sideways. His back is flat. So imagine, I'm gonna release him for a second. His back is flat on the mat, but the head is torqued like this. So it's very uncomfortable. It takes away his ability to bridge or buck. The only thing he can do is turn into us. But because I'm using my chest pressure on his shoulder, he's gonna have a hard time doing that. So I have my chin grip. My thumb is in the correct place on his neck as I explained uh, previously. Keep torquing the neck sideways. Pinch your elbow to your hip. That's almost enough to create the choke. And then let's just roll the thumb into his throat, okay? So the pinch and the curl. And that's how we're gonna get the uh, guillotine from side control. So um, just to emphasize some details, okay? When I'm saying uh, curl, okay, what we're trying to do is we're curling the hand in this motion here. I wish I could have a word to describe it, but I don't. Um, but we're maintaining our chin control, okay? I'm lifting his head up. So that's creating compression, right? Lifting his head up and forcing his body closer to his stomach. And then I'm gonna scoop into his throat like this. Imagine you're trying to scoop out their trachea. Your hand is like a, a, a spoon, a razor sharp spoon. And you're trying to scoop, the way you scoop ice cream out of a Ben and Jerry's cup, okay? We're trying to scoop into his throat, okay? I'm taking my thumb and I'm driving it up up into his throat while I'm forcing his head to, to, uh, to compress. So compressing the head and then scooping in, okay? So pinching the head, okay? We're curling and, comp and creating compression and then scooping the thumb under his jaw, okay? And we're trying to force, uh, force, basically we're forcing an object up under his jaw and into his trachea and jugular area and that's gonna create a very uncomfortable choke.